Welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use these colors to make up a flesh tone. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so we're gonna start off with white. So I'm gonna use up the whole 10 mil bottle. So if you can get yourself a bottle similar to this and then you can follow along accurately with the steps. So just empty all of that in this mixing bottle. Okay, that's the white done. And now I'm gonna add 20 drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we need five drops of red. One, two, three, four, five, and one drop of blue. One. Okay, so let's go ahead and shake that up. Give it a really good shake. So I haven't added any reducer at this stage. I just want to show you what the color is going to look like. Okay, so having a look at the color, you can see it's a really nice flesh base. Let's go ahead and add some reducer and spray it out so you can see what it looks like sprayed through the airbrush. Okay, it's so just going to spray some out so you can see the tone, you can see that's a real nice base that you could utilize for any portrait. And then you can obviously tint it either way. If you want to make it lighter, add some more white to it. If you want to make it a little bit more pink, then by all means add some uh, red. Okay, so I've just uh, by eye added in some more white into the mix. And I'll spray a bit of that out to show you what it looks like when it's a little bit lighter. So you can use that formula to get that base, which is this tone here. And then as you can see, once you've added the white, you get a nice lighter flesh tone. Now, if I wanna shift that more to more of a, a pinky flesh tone, I'll just add a little bit of red to this and I'll spray that out as well. So to my pot here, I'm just gonna do one drop, which is gonna be pretty strong actually. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and just spray the pinkier version of this now. That way you can see the difference. So that's why I love this mix, so versatile. So if you follow the steps to make this initial skin tone, um, then yes, of course, that might be too dark for what you're working on, but then you can lighten it, you can add more red. So it's just a great base to start with, and then you've got the versatility to shift it, uh, lighten it, you know, to any particular skin tone that you need in order to complete your portrait. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the skin tones. So you can see the variation in those three. So be sure to play around with it and experiment. To further your learning, check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.